What's up YouTube, Brandon here again, and we are going to be reviewing a pretty cool knife that I've had for almost a decade now. I think I bought this nine years ago because nine years ago I reviewed its twin, and for whatever reason, I never videoed a review of this one. I bought them both at the same time. Um, I think at the time I didn't review it because there was a lot of 710s on the market, and I had already reviewed the regular 710, so I didn't see the point in reviewing this one. But it's been a long time, and this is a collector's edition, um, so I figured I'd review it. So again, this is the McHenry & Williams uh, Benchmade 710. This is the, specifically, this is the Knife Center, I believe it was Knife Center um, exclusive version, and this model number is the 710-1401, and it uses M390 uh, steel, which is pretty cool. Uh, at the time, the, these came in D2 steel um, regularly with a black grip, so this was kind of a fancy uh, variation on that. Um, the blade length on this is 3.9 inches and the overall length is 8.8 .8 inches um, and the weight is 4.5 inches. So it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit heavier than most comfortable carry knives, but it's, it's okay. It's reasonable and given the length of the blade, um, which is just under the four inch limit for, I believe it was concealed carry uh, folding blades in California where I lived at the time, this was basically the ideal um, folding knife. Um, what do I like about this knife generally? This is the 710 at the end of the day. Uh, great design by McHenry and Williams. Pioneered and invented the uh, access lock, which became a patented um, Benchmade staple and sold them a lot of knives, particularly people like me who uh, really trust that lock over other locks uh, that were available in the market. Now the patent has expired, so other people can use it and other people are, but Benchmade has made great ones for a long time. Again, this is made of M390 Super Steel. It has a satin uh, finish, which is really nice. The uh, blade design is a little bit of a recurve um, right down here, and then it's a little bit of a drop point slash spear point uh, up at the top. I really like the blade design. Um, also, I like that the spine stays relatively thick all the way up to the tip, so it's gonna stay nice and strong. This one came with uh, this fancier um, I believe it's either G10 or Mercada. I think it's G10. Um, although I will say I actually like the G10 on the base version better. It's a little bit grippier. This one is polished in the center. So even though it has uh, some serrations built into the side for grip, it's actually not as grippy as the standard edition. Uh, I have this one set up for left hand carry right now. For some reason, I don't remember why I did that. A um, couple things I don't like about the 710 just in general, and that applies to this knife as well, is the pocket clip um, is pretty far down, so it doesn't carry deeply in the pocket. I never really liked that. On the plus side, it is reversible, um, but yeah, I wish this was a little bit higher up. This was kind of a common feature of Benchmades of this era. I also wish that this knife came with a glass breaker. Uh, I get that it's a little bit more of a EDC knife, but I just think glass breakers are good to have if you can have them. Um, as far as the action, this one is a little bit tighter. Um, I haven't cleaned it in a long time. I probably need to take it apart and polish it. It has uh, steel liners going down both sides. They are skeletonized. I don't know if you can see that in there, uh, but they have holes drilled out of them. Um, it's developed a tiny bit of rust in there, just little spots, nothing crazy. The last time I cleaned it, I took it apart and uh, got the Dremel out with a polishing wheel and some jeweler's paste and just you know cleaned it, smoothed everything out. Um, cleaned the bearings and everything like that, and it's been fine. Um, anything else I can say about it? I don't remember what the edge bevel was originally on this one. Um, I use a Wicked Edge to sharpen my blades, so it's been a V grind for a long time to 25 degrees. I remember when this one came from the factory, it was not particularly sharp, but again, sharpness really isn't a big deal because you can sharpen it, you can make any knife sharp with proper sharpening, so to me that, that doesn't really matter so much. Um, these are a little bit harder to sharpen because of the type of steel used, but again, I have the diamond stones and stuff like that, so it hasn't really been a big deal. Um, one more thing I don't particularly like about the 710 design uh, is that I, I wish this finger choil was a little bit uh, deeper so that you get a better uh, grip. So if you're stabbing something, there's not a risk that you're going to slide forward. Um, there was another knife of this era called the 805 TSAK, T-S-A-K, which I actually thought was a little bit better designed um, in terms of the ergonomics as an actual kind of fighting knife because it had a, it was basically this knife but it had a deeper um, finger choil there 
So I, I did like that one better, and I did have a T-Sec um, and an 806 as well uh, that were limited editions, and I sold one of them and lost the other one, or it got stolen. So yeah, uh, this was kind of a replacement for those. But great knife. I think it was 185 or $190 when I bought this thing, and I was looking at Benchmade knives today, and even the base models are in the two, you know, two hundred and thirty, two hundred forty dollar range for you know this size scale of knife they sell. So a lot of inflation with their prices since last time I bought one. But if you do have the opportunity to pick up one of these um, older collector's edition ones in the M three ninety, I do use this knife all the time, and as you can see, it's held up quite well. There's a few tiny little scratches on the blade from doing various things, but uh, yeah, I've been really happy with this knife and. That's all I have to say about it. Oh, one more thing. I like that the spacers are uh, blue, which goes well with the handles. So it's a pretty cool little collector's edition, and I'm very happy I bought it. All right, that's all I have to say about this one. One more thing I forgot to mention um, about this 710 is when I got it, the blade was not very centered. Um, I worked on it and mostly fixed it. You can see it just favors slightly to the left uh, as you're looking at it, um, but it's much better than it was. When I first got it, it was over further to the left, and I did a couple uh, tricks to kind of align it um, more centered, and it stayed there since then. But yeah, that's just one thing I always do when I get folding knives, is the first thing I do is I open them, close them a few times, and I look to see how centered they are um, in the channel. But yeah, I remember when I got this one, I was a little disappointed because it was not particularly centered, but um, I was able to play with the screws a little bit and adjust. Um, with some pressure and then it's held pretty much centered since then. So yeah, that's all I have to say.